You know, I'm not sure that I love the sound of smashing glass when a giant walks into my studio. <laughs> I'm just not sure that that uh, is befitting. But, well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've said this before. I hate people who say, here's a man that needs no introduction and then tells you everything he di- ever did. Here's a man who needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Awesome. Good morning, everybody. Good now morning. I'll, I'll tell you the stuff he did because it's really bitching, but I just wanted you to know he really <laughs> needed no introduction. Uh, well, first of all, you are the uh, WWE Hall of Famer, which is just amazing. I've been to wrestling for uh, quite a while now, but uh, mostly you're here to talk about your new movie, Damage. It's out on DVD today, correct? Damage is out today. Okay, so let me see if I get this right. It's about a guy who gets out on parole. So, so far, I can relate. <laughs> and then he gets into a bare-knuckle fighting ring. Believe it or not, some of my favorite movies are about that. Did you ever see a movie with Charles Bronson called Hard Times? Absolutely. One Is that not one of the greatest bare-knuckle fighting I've movies of all time? I've seen it about six times. Me yeah. too, man. I love Charles Bronson. I'm looking at you. I see you. I see a guy who could be out on parole. I don't know. I don't see an ankle bracelet. Uh, but I can certainly see you in a bare-knuckle fighting ring because you're gigantic and really fit. Then where does the, the, the movie's got to evolve from there? Where do we go from there? Well, you know, I uh, get out of prison. I'm trying to put my life together, uh, get you know, my feet back underneath me. And then uh, there's a young girl who needs uh, some medical uh, attention in, in the form of a heart operation. And she just happens to be the daughter of the, uh, the man's wife. I mean, of the, uh, Jesus, the guy that I killed. Right. That's his daughter. So she's in a bad way. She needs some medical help. They've got no insurance. Nice to us, money. I like that. So, you know, there I am. Uh, and I think, you know, for my fans, you would expect to see me in a movie like this with all the, the hand-to-hand combat. The, the fights are brutal. There's a lot of bloodshed. But then also, you know, there's a story. So there's uh, just not violence or fighting for the sake of violence. Uh, the, the violence is for a reason. It's to help this girl. To help this so, girl because yeah. she, was she a, a transplant or a, a... She needs the old a, transplant. Okay, so see, the movie you would expect to see is Stone Cold goes to prison for killing a guy gets out of prison, gets in the bare knuckle fight. Girl needs a heart operation, so he just rips it out of her chest and then says, you don't need one now. Danny, That's what at, you would expect. Look at the size of his hands and tell me you th- like, who would win in a bare knuckle fight. The uh, we, had, we had a lot of fun making this movie. And then uh, one of the, uh, uh, all of the fighters in the movie were MMA guys, except me you know, from my pro wrestling background. Right. And, uh, I'd fight, I was fighting with one guy uh, earlier on in the movie. And he was a guy that kind of kept always stepping back. So I was always moving forward. And so we changed uh, opponents, and I was fighting with a guy named Paul Lazenby, a good friend of mine now. And uh, we were doing kind of like a montage-type sequence, and a series of punches, and one of the punches is a left hook. Well, I drive the left hook by a little bit too close and just catch his nose with my pinky right. and move it about two inches on the other side no, of his face. No, with your pinky? And I'm, you know, and the camera's on my face. It's on his back, and uh, I don't know what the radio parameters are. So I, mean, I, I looked at him while the cameras are rolling, and I say, oh, shoot. Good. And, yeah, I changed you, that up. I and that. He, just lo- he just looks at me and says, keep going. So I kept yeah. swinging. No, those wow. stuntmen, are, are, they are amazing. They are dedicated yeah. cats. So now you've got a movie career. You've got the uh, DV out today. It's called Damage. It, it is something you would expect to see Stone Cold fighting, uh, but he's fighting for a, a really good reason. Uh, now, are you going back to, and you've recently gone back to wrestling, correct? No, I uh, hosted Monday Night Raw uh, two weeks ago just, just because, you know, we're getting the awareness out for Damage, which comes out on DVD today. And uh, so I'm not making a return to wrestling. And it was a little bit of a tough uh, spot to be in because, you know, a lot of my fans expected me to go on their show and just start stunning everybody, guzzling beer, <laughs> doing, you know, all, all the great stuff that, they, that I was able to do my whole career. But, you know, they were two weeks out from WrestleMania. And it's their biggest show of the year. They're going to be in Phoenix, uh, shoot, coming up this coming weekend. So, you know, it's kind of, I got to walk in there and walk on a few eggshells. And the whole flavor of their show is kind of PG. So back when I was running Rough Shot, it was, I was a pretty edgy act. Right. Pushing the, the envelope uh, creatively, uh, very aggressively. So it was fun to go back and fun to be in front of the crowd again, but I'm not making a return. I was You're just not making to a return. Out, just pushing damage. Uh, but the thing is, when you said they've PG'd it up a little bit, I noticed that. I did this wrestling show, and I was not, like, as versed as some of the other contestants on, like, the, some, the nuances are amazing in wrestling, but I did know showmanship. And when I got to my dressing room, and we're all supposed to come out in our, our either our heel or uh, face, which means bad guy or good guy, I was a bad guy, I come out in this cape and dark sunglasses, and I'm chiseled at that point in my life, right? And I'm bleeding from my eye, right on down my face. And after it's over, and I had won... They said, we really don't show blood on television anymore. When did that happen? What would happen to Freddie Blassie if they couldn't have shown blood? He ate people's faces. When did they tone it down to PG? Uh, 
You know, it was kind of a work in progress. And I think, you know, kind of when I left and, you know, they carried on for a few more years. But I think we pushed the envelope uh, so heavy. I think really that's the only, the only way you could move forward was to scale it back a little bit. And, and, I mean, put, just, and put it on side stories, which are interesting to follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you just can't keep going down that road because, I mean, all of a sudden then you're going to be R-rated, X-rated. I mean, the brutality would be off the charts. And it's more of a kid-friendly pro- product now. They've got more co- corporate sponsorships right. coming on. So it, it made sense. It was the right thing to do. But, yeah, it's, it's definitely a different day and age. Oh, and you I, can... I just re- recently heard that they started uh, banning chair shots, which is uh, another new one. Did you really? hear that one? Yeah. What would I do with that? <laughs> we had these guys, and who were they? Uh, Team 3D was in here. Right? Hit okay, the, the Dudley boys. Uh, yeah, the Dudley boys. Yeah. He hit me with a metal chair so hard, he broke the chair. He You're, just did the Tooth Fairy movie. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like full-on uh, kids movies. I, I, I'm, I'm not that thrilled with The Rock doing the Tooth Fairy, to be honest with you. Well, he did the I, mummy. I, I think being cute but... in that, in the rundown, was neat. Being the Tooth Fairy, putting a real putting The Rock in a tutu and making him fly around for Julie Andrews. I don't think we're seeing Stone Cold in a tutu. You're probably not going to get me in a tutu flying around and sprinkling <laughs> dust on anything. But I, you know, I am looking forward. I, I love doing action movies but just because I, I think they're fun and it's part of the uh, adrenaline and a testosterone that, that is my makeup. I love doing action stuff and it's a big part of uh, you know who I was in the ring and, and who I'm trying to be. But also, you know, I want to push the envelope and, uh, creatively as far as, an, as being an actor. I think right now I'm in my comfort zone. Uh, but I, I don't want to be labeled just an action guy. I want to try to do everything that I can do. Really, you want you want to try to be a straight up actor without the without all the action and it's a I, noble I just, cause. I mean, I I can't do it. I, I am not an actor. I tried. I did the part of Chandler. I thought it was cute and adorable. And then when I grew out of that, it turned out I had no talent. But I, I didn't know this uh, because it's fairly new. You think that the TNA is good for the sport? Oh, absolutely. I think I'm you, glad to hear you that. you got to have competition. Because I can remember mentioning my friend without saying Hulk Hogan's name because I didn't right. know if you guys liked each other or not. No, I'm fine with, with, with Hulk. I mean, I've got a lot of respect for his career. I mean, he's not a guy that we rode down the road together. We didn't trade phone calls, and we're not best buddies, but I've always respected what he's done right. in his career. Uh, of course, everybody that's in the business or knows anything about it does. But uh, I'm a fan of TNA just because I think there should be competition. I've got a lot of friends down there. They need jobs. And uh, I don't think they're ever going to be like the WWE. I think they should kind of forge their own path and be a little bit different product. And I think they're 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 uh, on their way to doing that. But uh, I love the show, and uh, really, when you have competition between those two groups, see uh, that's what I was. It's thinking. a win-win for the wrestling fans Hulk, and all the guys. A lot more people have jobs. Hulk was on the other day, and he was saying that that, that there's a lot more people with jobs. And he is a, a really sweet guy. WrestleMania this weekend. Uh, Shawn Michaels, who's on the show later this week, actually on Thursday morning, and uh, the Undertaker, Street First the Career. Uh, who's your money on? I got to go. Uh, long story short, got to go with the taker. He's going to go eighteen and zero. I don't see the streak being snapped. Uh, Shawn Michaels, a peerless performer, one of my favorites and the best of all time. But Undertaker goes eighteen and zero. Is Undertaker as scary out of the ring as he is in the ring? I mean, the guy. No, he's such a laid back, quiet guy. Now, That's what you know, I've heard. He's one of those kind of guys that keeps all his business to himself. Right. Smart Wally Cat. I call him the KG veteran. One time, I, the first time I was working with the Undertaker, they brought me in here and well, in here in a WWE as a mechanic. Undertaker comes to the ring. They turn out the lights. They smoke the the, the uh, entranceway. All the lighters go up, and I'm you know in the ring. I'm thinking, okay, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. And all of a sudden, when all that happened, and here comes the Undertaker, I'm thinking, well, what am I going to do? <laughs> this is yeah, what you, I want to do. Your, your, your brain goes completely uh, blank. It was so fun working with that guy. Now he's a true legend. I see the Undertaker winning. No, I I, uh, I picked Sean because he called the show, and anybody that's cool enough to call my show. I got to pick them as the winner, but the Undertaker, because I've gotten so into wrestling and I've, I've I've wrestled so many times now, it seems to me that in the real professional wrestling community, that there's almost no one more respected than the Undertaker, which surprises me. He's supposed to be very smart, like he's like Steve said, he keeps to himself. He's nothing like his character, although his character doesn't say that much because he's dead. But <laughs> he keeps to himself. But he's supposed to be like one of the best professional wrestlers. There he's is. a leader. He's kind of the last of the old guard. And, and again, I know Sean's coming on the show, and uh, there's nobody I respect more in the ring than Sean. I just, for, as far as a win and a loss, I see the W going to take her. Steve, an absolute honor, man. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate you having me. Thank you. Thank you. I know. Stone Cold. Awesome. It's just weird to even say. It's kind of like saying, well, thank you very much, Paul McCartney. You just don't get to say <laughs> stuff like that a lot. Stone Cold, thanks, man. Again, an thank absolute you very much. pleasure. It's 94 WYSP, The Rock You Grew Up.